Graham, most Cobblers fans will know you're from BBC Radio Northampton, but you've got a keen interest in World War history and you've brought us out to the Somme today to um, uncover some really fascinating stories. Well, I hope so. It's, uh, it, it's so important. I've been doing these stories for, for a number of years about sportsmen in the First World War. And, you know, before I moved to Northampton, I've been here a few years now, before I came I'd heard of Walter Tull, uh, and I knew the story a little bit of Walter Tull, uh, but when you actually come to the battlefields, and when you walk where he walked, and read about what he did as a footballer as well as a soldier, it's an astonishing story. It's such a powerful and such an important story that's now, it's relatively well known, but it needs to be kept alive. It's a, it's a, 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 a man who, we, we could all look up to as a hero, regardless of which club we support or, or you know, which nationality we are. He is truly just a, a hero for human beings. No one knows for sure the exact spot in which Walter was killed, but we're standing on the fields, the area in which it took place, and just hearing John the historian talk through it really does bring to life just how horrific the conditions must have been a hundred years ago. Yeah, and, and it's when you, you look out over this field, it, it, it's not that hard to picture what it was like and we're obviously thankfully living in a, in a, a safe era where there, there aren't Germans coming over the horizon but it's possible to imagine it isn't it in this chill of a March day although the sun's out today there's a bit of a chill in the air and it is possible to almost see the ghosts of what happened here and you can literally see what happened here as well around you because the fragments of, of shells and of bullets are still lying in these fields as of course are sadly the, the the men there are still men who lie in these fields it, it's a it's a place i've come to a number of times over the years but i still i still find it a very eerie place to come to but and a very powerful place to come to because they have such as i say such important stories to tell these fields yeah it's interesting a hundred years on and there's still shrapnel coming to the surface and that you're still finding th things that were that were obviously here a hundred years ago mm. and I, I don't know, that just sort of adds to the realism, I guess, of the, the fact that the horizon hasn't changed. You can imagine the German troops coming over the top there, and it really does put you in the position of what those British troops had to face that night. You know, 100 years, when you say it sounds like a lot, but actually it isn't that long ago, and there are grandchildren of these men who are still alive today. There are grandchildren who grew up not knowing their grandfathers because they were killed in the First World War. Time passes quite quickly. Uh, and when you look back at the old photos from Walter Tull and the Cobblers from 100 years ago, it, on the one hand, it looks like a completely different world they lived in, but actually it wasn't a completely different world. Thankfully, it was in some ways, but in many other ways, they're people we can still relate to, we can understand and especially, as I say, with Walter Tell, we can look at today uh, and still say that was that was a man I wish I had known. Tell doesn't have a grave, and that's a tragedy, of course. But I guess as we approach the hundredth anniversary, that the fact his memory and his legacy lives on is probably just, if not more important, than, than the fact he hasn't got a grave. Uh, that, that's the key for me, really, with with Walter Tell. There's arguments about military crosses, there's uh, and whether or not he had one. There's lots of debate, lots of talk about Walter Tell. But from everything I know and have read about Tull, he was a very modest, quiet, unassuming man who overcame incredible things uh, to achieve what he achieved. And I think his most important legacy, and I think what he would have been most proud of, is that he is remembered. And in schools across Northamptonshire, I know from personal experience, from primary schools especially, they talk about Walter Tell, they know who he is, and they look at him as a, a great example of a human being. And that for me is the most important part of his story. And just finally, as a club, Northampton Town, so proud to know that Walter Till was and always will be a cobbler. Yeah, he is. He was. He enjoyed the best years of his career. He played at Spurs as well, but he was a Northampton Town footballer first and foremost. And the club should and is, I know, very, very proud of, of his link with the, with, with the past and with the club of the present as well.